Guys, we got a bunch of packages. Let's drop these suckers off. It's dropped off, guys. We're just heading over to Chipotle right now. We're officially back home. Let me get a new battery. My camera's about to die. And guys, we are officially back in the garage after eating. It was super good. I actually got free guac because your boy bought so much Chipotle they decided to give your man some free guac. So uh, I don't know if that's something that I should be happy about or not. Or do I need to rethink my life? Anyhow, what's up guys? Welcome back to, we're back to another video. And today I'm super stoked to show you guys only one third of the mod. So basically I have a full body kit here including the hood, steering wheel, a whole bunch of other little goodies for retrofits. I have so many things that are here. This is only one third of the thing that I plan on doing to this build. I want to give a huge special shout out to Keys Motorsport for making the body kit happen. Huge special shout out to Souvenir for sending us the hood here. I'm going to have links to all these products down below. I'm going to wait for my brother to come out here and see what we should do in this video. We have so much to do. I don't know if we can do it all, but I'm going to try to knock out a few of these things in today's video. So make sure you smash the like button. If you guys are stoked, I'm super stoked. So, uh, uh, let's let's just get right into it. Yeah, so I have my brother. He just came out. Shout out to him. So he's gonna be helping me out. He's gonna be helping me install the hood. Uh, something else. I don't know. We're probably gonna either do the rear bumper or the front bumper. We're gonna try to do two things today. I did forget my tools, so we're gonna be trying to jank it up a little bit and use some some of my brother's tools. Hey, like tools aren't bad. They're not. They're not bad. But you know, when you got Milwaukee living that Milwaukee life, you know what I mean? Like, ah oh, man, Milwaukee kind of spoils you. You know what I mean? Like you got that luxury in your hands. Anywho, just want to let you guys know that after three years of working on cars, I finally got my first. Milwaukee set. So no, I, I actually use ratchets for rebuilding the M3. If you guys look at the M3 video, the whole video was done with ratchets actually from Harbor Freight. Didn't have any nice tools until I got the shop and I figured, you know what, I think it's time for it. So you guys don't need expensive things to do this stuff, but uh, you know, once you get expensive things, it kind of gets spoiled on how nice they are. But anyhow, let's go ahead and put on the hood first, right? Because we're pretty stoked on that. I'm ready to see the front end. Yeah, so I, I, I mean, we, might, we might have to do the front end. So the hood is from Souvenir, so if you guys really like it, there's gonna be a link down below for it. Are you ready to install a, a hood? I'm ready. Oh my God, I keep dropping the camera, but you're good. All right, let's get it. Oh, this roof really came together really nicely. We might actually do a couple other mods, not just the hood and the bumper. So you might actually do a couple more things. So stay tuned. Stop further ado, let's go ahead and cut this hood. All right, guys, so we just got the hood out. It also came with grills, and uh, these look beautiful. They already have a painted gloss black. They are not primer. They're already gloss black for you, so straight out of the box, that is absolutely perfect. Actually comes with some stickers now. I think that's something they're doing that's new. And then here's the hood with the gaping holes. <laughs> this looks absolutely insane. I'm super stoked to put that on, uh, but I, we basically put it right here on its legs. You guys can see this little padding down there. Just so we can remove this hood and put it in that box, make sure this hood is safe. This is an OEM hood, OEM paint. This is perfectly good. I don't want to just junk it, throw it away. These have a lot of value in them, so worst comes to worst, I could always sell it, but I'm probably gonna keep the OEM parts. All right, guys, so, uh, so to put it to remove this hood latch, I don't understand the logic of it. Once you got these two rivets, I don't understand why it's a rivet. Uh, we're gonna have to now go out and pick up a rivet uh, gun and, you know, get two rivets. I think BMW has them. I think they're like 20 bucks a pop, crazy like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and go down to Harbor Freight, hope to God uh, they have the right size. As you guys saw, one of them actually hit it and it went down there somewhere. It is what it is. This one I hit it and it went to the back of the hood. So let's remove the hood, shake it out, try to get it out of the car, and uh, yeah, might as well get the rest of the things off the hood, right? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's move the rest of the things off the hood and then we'll go down to Harbor Freight and get the rib again. Just got the hood off. I can already say this looks so much better. I honestly love a car with no hood. I wish you can rock cars without any hoods. This looks so good. I love all the plastics and stuff. 
this looks really clean, I'm not gonna lie. So anywho, looking at this hood, uh, we do have to remove a couple things. We do have to remove like all these little grommets. We do have to remove this whole sound deadening tray. So we'll move all that over in a little bit. But let's just go ahead and move the hood onto the car and just get it not like perfect for me, just to sit on it and just screw in these two screws. And then we gotta head out and get new rivets for the hood latches. But at least for the most part, we can get the hood sorted before we actually have to go out and get the stupid rivet. I don't understand why they couldn't just use regular screws. If someone can explain the logic to that, tell me down below. If the logic is BMW, then uh, let me know that down below. Okay, so it definitely needs to come out. Can you push it <gasps> more, son? What? What happened? We didn't do that, no way we did that. We didn't do that. Guys, as crazy as this hood look, it looks like we just got some shipping damage. It's the first time I've ever seen shipping damage. This thing was wrapped so well. How did this happen? Oh my God. So we definitely have to take this down to the body shop now. That sucks, that's crazy. Hopefully, at least if, I'm hoping just the hood even closes at this point. Um, actually, I do think it will, that's good. Uh, but that really sucks. That looks terrible. Good thing is this isn't aluminum. This is metal. Metal is bendable. The body shop can do that. The fitment looks really good. And I think that's what I'm mainly trying to pay attention to. I'm absolutely loving the fitment right now. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So, anywho, I might try to bend it back just a little bit. See if I can do anything about it. If not, I might not even touch it. Let the professionals take care of that. Oh my god, guys, what the hell? This thing's already coming together just from this hood. That looks so aggressive with the M6 style. I think these are M6 style wheels. I don't think they're actual M6 wheels, but I think this is really coming together. That does look a lot better. Okay, guys, so perfect. Guys, even the fitment on this side is really good other than this fat bulging dent, which I actually have pulled out quite a bit. I'm actually gonna be working on it tonight. I'm gonna keep trying to hammer it out, see if I can do anything about it myself. Because I know something like that costs the body shop like a hundred bucks to do. And it just sucks to, you know, have to go through that. So I really don't blame Souvenir. I've gotten many products from them before. And the way they package it, it actually comes on this pilot truck. Like, they cannot pay any more to have it delivered properly. So Souvenir did a great job delivering it. I don't blame on Souvenir. I think it's the shipping services. They must have dropped it or something. And uh, it just sucks. It really does. But uh, it's not Souvenir's fault. Definitely the shipping carrier's fault. I'm probably going to get in contact with them. All right, yeah, you can go ahead and take out the, the one piece we worked our butts off to get. You can do the honors. Imagine there's one more in there. Oh, so satisfying. All right, perfect. So that's what we need to actually transfer out to that hood. Um, and then, yeah, we just need to get the rivet stuff now, right? Hey, but what it do, we do. And what you know, you know. We are super excited, honestly, guys. This F10 is gonna look absolutely insane. The plans that we have for it, my head's an absolute redhead. You guys see my eyes, a little bit of allergies. My brother's allergies are way worse right now. My allergies are super bad at the shop. That's why you guys see me working from the house because right now the shop is nowhere I want to be right now. It is an absolute last place. It's so allergenic, if that's the right word. Anywho, uh, I want to go ahead and try to knock out as much things on the hood as possible before we actually head out so we feel like we completed something. So let's go ahead and put that piece inside the hood, put it all back together, maybe even put on the hood latches and just have that one piece dangling and then we just need to put in the two rivets. So once we put in those two rivets, everything is complete. Guys, we have a big ass pizza box. You trying to get some pizza? We should we? We should. Honestly, you wanna get tonight? Alright, well we're gonna have to, we might have to get some pizza and celebrate. Um Damn, I think is guys, just to see the proportions. Oh my lord, imagine this is a pizza box, bro. Imagine. It's like this huge pizza box, like a, a, a Guinness World Record pizza box, like this size. <laughs> I think so, right? I found it on YouTube. So. I think I've seen it, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, just parked. Let's go ahead and get those rivet tools. All right, guys, this one's missing everything, so we can't go with that. I think we might go ahead and actually go with these plastic ones. I mean, this one doesn't look like the right one, so we'll just go ahead and go with this one. So we just picked up a new set of tools that we're gonna be using to actually get this hood latch properly secured onto the hood. Let's hope to God it works. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do the... Oh wait, where is the transition? Oh heck not guys. So yeah, the rivets ended up working out perfectly. Thank the Lord, those plastic rivets 
definitely should pick those up if you guys are doing this hood conversion. And uh, the next thing we're doing is the bumper. So shout out to Keys Motorsports for the bumper. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do the bumper. All right, guys, our brother's almost done removing this bumper. As he's doing that, I actually unboxed the new M Sport bumper and check that out, guys. That looks absolutely insane. So we did opt the ones with the PDC with the washers and with fog lights. And we also surprisingly got a carbon fiber lip. So shout out to Keys Motorsports for surprising me with that. I was honestly not expecting a carbon fiber lip. And this is the full lip with the add-ons on top on each side. So it looks absolutely insane. And of course, with every Keys Motorsport bumper, it comes complete with all the PDC stuff and everything. You don't just get the bare bone. You get everything with the bumper. So we better move these guys. We're gonna move the sensors and just move them all over to that one. Grills are also blacked out. So uh, the previous owner already put black grills. So that's already gonna look 10 times better with that bumper. Shout out to my brother for helping me out. He was actually filming right before I called him to help me. So his channel is gonna be linked down below if you guys wanna support him. And uh, yeah, huge shout out to him. We're almost removing this bumper. So let's go ahead and just get this off and put on the new bumper. All right, guys, now that you have the bumper off, this actually looks really aggressive. Shit. Yeah, I like it. That looks really good. So now that you have the bumper off, there's only two connections over here, and that's it to remove the whole bumper, which is nice. So uh, we can go ahead and leave this on there. Meantime, though, we do need to remove all the PDC sensors and these two grills. And other than that, I think that's all. All we gotta remove. Should we go? So uh, let's just go ahead and remove the, all those sensors. Oh, we gotta get the BMW logo. That is precious. So let's get all that stuff. Also guys, with the bumper, it came with this extra brace, so make sure you install the new brace. I removed the old one, this is the new one. The old one pretty much just goes straight across. You need this new one because of the curve of the new bumper, so uh, yeah, this comes with the kit if you get it from Keys Motorsports, so make sure you guys get it from Keys Motorsports. And here is the bumper fully complete. So, uh, things that it's missing, we got all the sensors in there, we have the two grills in there, we have the side stuff as well, the grills and all that stuff. It's missing fog lights, we're gonna have to get some fog lights, and it's missing the emblem. So other than that, we just have to get the car either painted or wrapped. Let me know guys, do you guys think that I should wrap this entire car, you know, some crazy, I'm not gonna be wrapping it copper, but something along those lines was like a glossy, like liquid color. It looks really good. I love these type of colors. So should I wrap it something like that? Or do you guys think I should just paint match the whole car to silver? Because this is a luxury car. So do you think the silver, you know, looks good and just keep it all silver? Or do you guys think that I should actually wrap it and make it something pretty insane? It's, I don't know. It's up to you guys. But for now, let's just go ahead and uh, throw on the bumper. Guys, from this angle, what a transformation. This looks absolutely insane. Just look at that. Oh my God. So, M Sport bumper. I think this is like some kind of GT hood. Looks absolutely insane. We do have side skirts. We do have the rear bumper, but um, I have to take out all this garbage before my dad beats my ass tonight. So, that has to get done. I'm going to be picking up fenders. Let me know if there's M4 style and M5 style. So, let me know. Is M5 okay if it's just fenders? I feel like it's okay if it's just fenders. But if you guys think that's a, that, that, that's gonna throw off the car, it's gonna make it kind of ricey and all that kind of stuff, then I'll go with M4 style since you can't really mistake a five series for an M4. We're not actually gonna put on the carbon fiber lip just yet because we do have to wrap the entire bumper. I didn't even really wanna put in the grills just yet because I, I honestly, yeah, again, I have to wrap the whole bumper, so. Or paint, or paint. But yeah, guys, this hood is beautiful. Unfortunately, some shipping damage right there, but other than that, um, I will get that fixed. It's This car is looking pretty damn good to me. Oh my lord. We got so much more to do to this car, guys. But uh, let me head down and get rid of all this garbage. Guys, looking good. All right, he's going to go ahead and back that out. I'm going to go ahead and get the 435 and bring it inside the garage. Damn, the beast. I'm going to be myself or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm going to skip my breaks. I'm going to make mistakes. Alright guys, I think this is a very well accomplished day. 
pretty much got the front end complete on the F10. I mean, we're still missing fenders, some more carbon fiber, and some more carbon fiber, but I mean, like, we got a hood and a bumper on today. We got rid of the garbage, so I'm not getting my ass whooped tonight. I'm not sleeping on the street, thank the Lord. But by the time my dad sees this video and he sees that I use his, uh, his car, he might he might whoop my ass then. Anyhow, but yes, guys, um, I think at this point, I'm gonna head over to Walmart, pick up uh, some, some apple juice, because I don't know, I've been, like, really a juicy person. Like, I've been really just wanting juice. I have orange juice at the house, and uh, I want apple juice. I want to add it to collection. Maybe some, maybe even some fruit punch. I don't know. Maybe some coffee. I don't know. I'm just, I've been in the mood for some drinks. So I'm gonna head down to Walmart, get some drinks, and then relax, start editing this video. If you guys could please show me some love and smash that like button to support me down below. Without further ado, guys, don't forget to let me know. Should we wrap the car or should we paint it? But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.